Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about one of the best artifact sets in the game. Uh, by far the most underrated set. And I'm not clickbaiting, this set is actually amazing. It's the best set in the game for child, like, by far. We talked about it in my last video, but there's still a ton of questions surrounding it. I feel like it's a really misunderstood and underrated set, uh, and people don't really get how to use it and all that stuff. So, the set we're talking about is a retracing ball light set, and we're also going to talk about the Petra set. And, um, the thing with the set is, like, it was basically unknown like I, I saw some people theorycraft about it but almost no one was really talking about it until i made my last video a few days ago and oh i've seen i've been noticing a lot of youtubers be like oh this set is broken or oh don't build this set it's a trap and a lot of people are t giving contradicting information surrounding it so i want to give you guys a definitive answer i want this to be like the bolai bible and we're going to be talking about it we're going to be talking about why or when it's good we're going to talk about which characters it's good on how like how to use it what shields to run, all that good stuff. Because I've noticed a lot of people are really confused about it. It's like the number one question I get on my stream. Like, how do I use Bolide? Is this shield good enough? Is this fine? Is this team comp, like, good for Bolide? All that stuff. So we're going to clear this out. This is the video you guys have been requesting. We're going to talk about the retracing Bolide set and all its synergies, all its uses. Before we start, I want to say I stream on Twitch like most nights. You can follow me, link in the description if you want. If not, that's okay. We're going to get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Now, before we get into any of the specifics, let's talk about the set itself and why it's so good. So the retracing ball light set increases your shield strength by 35%, which is whatever. But when you have the four piece, what it does is it'll g uh, give you an additional 40% normal and charge attack damage. Now, if you guys don't think that's good, let's look at all the other sets. So for a character that doesn't have a specific elemental set that's already out, like let's say the Crimson Witch of Flames, which is the best set in the game on Luke. If you don't have this, if you're someone like Child who doesn't have a Hydro set currently, or, or even if your uh, set isn't the best, like your, your elemental set isn't the best, then Bolide is just better. Because when you look at like the default artifact sets that don't require a specific element, you, call, you look at Noblesse for Child, this is great for a high elemental burst, but it's, that, that's about it. Like you're gonna be running the two piece with maybe a Glad, and that's a lot less than 40% damage on all your attacks, even in your melee stance. When you look at something like Wanders, it's 35%, but only on your charge attack. And you look at this, 40 on both. Now the thing is this uh, set does have some drawbacks, which we're gonna be talking about throughout this video, but um, obviously you need a shield and you need to be able to maintain that shield. Now that's a lot easier than people might think, especially if you're running a character like Noel or hopefully Zhongli in the future. And that actually ties into my next point. I think this game is going into a shield meta. I talked about it briefly in my last video, but um, with all these new weapons, buffing your shield and giving you more damage when you have a shield, like when you look at the new catalyst that just came out and the new weapons that are coming out next patch, it's a lot. It looks like a shield meta is happening where your shields are going to be stronger and your weapons are going to buff you when you have a shield on, which means this set might become uh, even more meta than it currently is on some characters. So who is this set actually good on? Well, it's the best set pretty much by far on Child. It is the best set on him. We can talk more about that in a bit, or you can watch my last video. But apart from Child, uh, it's probably going to be the best DPS set in the game on Zhongli when he comes out. Might be good on Zhao too. Uh, but for the characters currently in the game, it's really good on Child and for like DPS Noel. And you could use it on Ning Wang, but mainly Child and DPS Noel. Right now, I do use my Noel as support with the Petra set and I use that set, the bullet set on Childs. But apart from that, there isn't too many characters that this is that great on. However, I do suspect, as I said, it will be great on Zhongli. So building the set in advance uh, can always be good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare this set to other sets in the game. And since this is, since this is the best set on Child, we're gonna be specifically talking about him uh, for just like little bits of this video, we're gonna try to make it general so that it applies for Zhongli too when he comes out. But uh, we're gonna make this section just on Child to compare and show you guys why this is the best set on him. So the way Child works, and you can look at, there's gonna be an Excel sheet in the description uh, because we did run the numbers, but just generally speaking, Child's damage is usually split into three parts. It's 50% his normal attacks and stuff, like during his E stance. 25% Riptide damage and 25% Elemental Burst. So something like Noblesse is worse because it only increase your burst, which is 25% of your damage, by 20%. I don't want to bore you guys with the math, but basically this is 20% of your alt only, whereas this is 40% of all your uh, attacks, even during your E, which is just way better. So something like a two-piece Noblesse with a two-piece Wander or a two-piece Glad is just worse than that 40% when you're shielded, especially because when we look at shield management, which we're talking about in this video as well, um, you can keep your shield up basically the entire time you're in your E pretty easily. So a few people are picking up on Thunder Soother with Child, and this increases your, all your damage against enemies affected by Electro by 35%, which could be better, but it only works against specific enemies, like it doesn't work against like slimes and some enemies, uh, and it also only works in a specific setup, which means you need to have like Oz out on the board, on the field, or a Beidou's ultimate. So uh, there is a complicated setup for this, and it doesn't work against all enemies, especially some of the harder Abyss floors. This set just won't work. But it is still good overall. I'm not hating on it. Uh, I just think Bolite is the best set by far on Child. Gives you that 40% on all your normal and charge attacks, and you can run the Petra set with it, 
Before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, let's talk about the Petra set because this is one of the best support sets for Bolide. It's amazing and it's part of the something I really want to talk to you guys about. So the way this set works is that it'll give you a 35% damage bonus for the element of the crystal uh, shard you pick up. There are a few conditions here that are pretty important and you guys need to understand how to use it. First of all, you want to make sure the element is the, the, the corresponding element to your main DPS. So if you're running this with child, let's say your child's on Bolide and you have, for example, a geo support of either Ningwang or Noel on the Petra set, you want them to crystallize a hydro afflicted enemy to get the hydro shard. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your geo support, whatever character has the Petra set, picks up the crystal. And the reason for that is because once they pick up the crystallized reaction, this set triggers. Let's say you're running Ningguang Child, you proc crystallize and you have two crystals on the ground. And let's say it's a, it's a Hydro Shard, you pick up one on Ningguang, you get that damage bonus, you swap the Child, then you're shielded for 15 seconds. When your shield's about to run out, pick up the other crystal before it despawns. You're gonna have both shields, you're gonna be shielded the whole time of your, the whole duration of your E, and you're gonna get the Petra set bonus for the first shield, which is 35% damage bonus for 10 seconds, which is pretty crazy. The characters that can give you a shield uh, are Noel, Diona, and Baidu. After her C1, and then there are also Geo characters that can crystallize for shield, such as Ningguang and the main character if you want to use Geo MC, which isn't here for some reason, but yeah. The thing with Diona's shield is it may be pretty good, but it may not be active long enough to keep your Bolide set effect on for like a decent amount of time. So what I think you should do is if you are running Diona as a shield, which is good, uh, and actually the best part about it is that it's a cryo shield. So it reduces your cryo damage by a lot and it's really good in like floor 12 abyss. So if you are running Diona, you would ideally want another shield character or someone that can proc crystallize. So I, would, I wouldn't run Diona as your only shield, but if you're running her with maybe C1 Baidu that has a lot of energy recharge or Ningguang Noel, then that's fine, that's good. You can have that shield up for about as long as you want. The thing with Baidu and why I said C1 Baidu is because her ult doesn't give a shield until C1, which gives a shield that absorbs some damage, whatever. Uh, that shield lasts 15 seconds, so it is a pretty good shield. However, her ult doesn't charge that quickly, so you do need a lot of energy recharge. And ideally, if you are using Baidu as a shield, which can be a great electro support for child, um, you do want another shield with her. So like, you can do Baidu Diona, Baidu Noel, Baidu Ningguang, something like that. But uh, do note that she does not have a shield until C1. Ningguang obviously doesn't have a shield, but she can create crystallized reactions very easily. So what you can do is you can run, uh, if you really want her as a pure support, you could DPS with her, but if you want her as your pure support, you can run like the Petra set on her or whatever, and then just spam crystallize. You crystallize, pick up the crystal, you'll have a shield. Uh, you can make multiple crystals, pick up one, wait a bit, pick up the other, which is good for shield management, which we're going to be talking about in a bit. Then you can just obviously swap through DPS who's going to be shielded, and you'll be fine. So for Noelle, uh, her E gives you a shield that lasts 12 seconds, and she can also proc crystallize with it. So if you have Petra on her, you can pick up that crystallized shield, and if you're not running Petra on her, you can still use this E as a shield and pick up that crystal. Now, I think Ningguang and Noelle are both the best shields. I personally like Ningguang a bit better because you can actually DPS with her and use her as like a secondary DPS or a support DPS or whatever, and I think Noelle and Ningguang are both really good. Now we're going to be talking about shield management and shield uptime. So I recorded some clips with Noel, Ningguang, Baidu, all that. But uh, the first, first of all, the most important things you guys need to know are number one, when you proc the crystallized reaction with Geo, it'll make a crystal on the ground. And when you pick it up, it'll give you a shield. First of all, that, that crystal will disappear after 15 seconds. And then that crystal will give you another 15 second shield. So crystallize is on the ground for 15 and it'll shield you for 15. And if you're using Noel, she also gives you a 12 second shield. I just want you guys to know all that information and now let's move on to the clips that I've recorded about shield management. Let's go. You're going to have like, let's say 30 seconds of being shielded, almost 30, it's a bit less, but almost 30 seconds of being shielded, which is almost the max duration of child's E. So if you're running at this on child, his E, which lasts, where is it? Max duration, 30 seconds. You're going to have almost the entire duration. You know that when you're getting near the max duration, you can cancel it so that you don't get this max cooldown, which is much, much bigger than the preemptive cooldown. So when, you're, when your shields are up, you can cancel your E, swap to other characters, use your secondary DPS, all that good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna showcase how you do this with a support that's running Petra. So let's say I'm against just random heli trails, doesn't matter, and I want my Petra sec to activate. I can press E here, that'll crystallize. I pick up this crystal with Noel, and I go to child, and I have both the shield set and the Petra set active. Now do note that this shield will wear off before your E finishes if you only make one crystal. So ideally when you crystallize you want multiple, uh, or you can utilize Noelle's E as a shield, or you can do stuff with Ningguang, which is the example that I'm showing you guys in the next clip. If we look at uh, shield management on someone like Ningguang, let's say there are multiple enemies, you can, you know, proc the crystallize twice. You can pick up one crystal, crystallize again, and then you can swap to let's say child, you're DPSing. And then when this one shield is gonna wear off, you can pick up that other crystal that lasts for 15 seconds on the ground. So you know you're DPSing here, you get the Petra set bonus, 
and uh, well, I mean the bullet set and even Petra if you want. And then you can pick up that other crystal. You're still shielded. You can keep DPSing. Um, obviously this is on an ice slime, so you're not seeing any damage numbers, but we do have the damage bonus. And then when this is over, should last a while. When this is over, so up to our support characters or other characters. Uh, you can shield again if you want. You can go back to Ning Wang, proc more crystallized. Boom, there should be another crystal on the ground, yeah. And then uh, you can go to your DPS and DPS again. So what are the pros and cons of the set? Well, on the pro side, you can get a 40% normal and charge attack damage, as we talked about. It's just the best set. It's the highest DPS you can get, and that's the biggest pro. Another pro is you can run this with the Petra set on your support character, which will give you that 35% damage bonus to the reaction of the uh, to the element of the crystallized reaction. There are some cons, some drawbacks, however, um, that yeah, this set is amazing, but it also requires um, at least one party member to have a shield, which means you might have to run this with Noel, with uh, Ning Wang, you can run this with Baidu and Diona because uh, each other's shields might not be enough alone, um, which means you do have to build a comp around this artifact set. So you need to make sure that when you're Running the set, you're you're fully invested in the character that has it on. If you're like, okay, Child's my main DPS, I want my child to shine, he's gonna be my best character, you can run this, you can run Bolide on him, and then you can have a um, secondary DPS, and then like a Noel to shield, and whichever other support you want. So it's not that hard to make a party composition around it, all you need is one good shield character like Noel. Overall guys, I wanna keep this video kinda short, but basically like, this set is just the best in the game on Child, and it might be the best on Zhongli, and it's good on DPS Noel too, so I figure I need to talk about it, because my last video got a lot of traction, saying that this set, guys, is how you're supposed to build Child, and honestly, if you're going for max DPS, it is, it's the best set on Child, you just need to make sure you're running him with a shield character, ideally Noel, but also Ning Wang, or Baidu Diana could work. Alright guys, that about sums it up, so uh, that's the Bolide set, the best set in the game on Child, I just made this video to clear up a lot of questions, and to talk about how to use it, shield management, all that stuff, because I get so many questions about it and I think this is an important topic. Uh, initially, I didn't really want to do this because I felt like, why would anyone want to watch this video? But seeing all the questions and everyone talking about the Petra set right, uh, sorry, the Bolide set and the Petra set right now, I figured I should clear things up. I've been getting a lot of questions about it. So I hope this was informative. I hope you guys enjoyed because this is the best set in the game on Child who is arguably the best DPS or one of the best DPSs in the game. So it's a very important set to talk about. So yeah, I wasn't clickbaiting when I said it is uh, super underrated, super good. And uh, I hope I answer all you guys' questions. Comment if you have any left, though, because I do read every comment. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's okay, too. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.